presently on his two-day long visit to Saudi Arabia. And this, of course, marks the Prime Minister's second visit to the kingdom in a span of just about three years. Now, the visit is likely to open a fresh chapter in the relationship between the two countries that are getting ever closer. Without a doubt, the highlight of this visit will be the Future Investment Initiative, also called the Davos in the Desert, where the Prime Minister is a keynote speaker. But this visit will also see the Prime Minister hold talks with various stakeholders in the Saudi royal family and a sign of deepening ties between the Modi government and the Saudi royal family. Now, at the top of this list, of course, is the Crown Prince, Mohammed bin Salman, who holds the reins of power in the kingdom. Now, Modi will be holding a bilateral meeting with the Crown Prince at about 9.30 p.m. Indian Standard Time. And this will, of course, be the fifth time that the two leaders will be meeting. And ahead of their meeting, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said, and I quote, I recall with warmth my previous meetings with him and look forward to meeting him during this visit as well. I am confident that under the leadership of His Majesty King Salman and Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, the bilateral relationship between India and Saudi Arabia will only grow stronger. So it is a power-packed schedule for the Indian Prime Minister who is in the lead in the lead up to the meeting with the Crown Prince. Starting at 1 p.m., that's roughly in an hour's time from now, Indian Standard Time, Prime Minister Modi is scheduled to have multiple engagements with ministers of the Saudi government, including the ministers of Energy, Foreign Affairs and Environment. And then at about 4.30 p.m., King Salman will be hosting the Indian Prime Minister for a lavish lunch, followed with a bilateral meeting. The strategic cooperation between the two countries remains a high priority, as has been highlighted by Prime Minister Modi in his interview to one of the local media network there. And India and Saudi Arabia, he has said, share common strategic interests and that he was fully satisfied with the level of cooperation between the two countries, especially in the field of counter-terrorism, amongst others. And this is where the signing of the Strategic Partnership Council Agreement comes in. In the Prime Minister's own words, the creation of the Partnership Council will elevate the relationship between the countries to a whole new level. And then there is this question of oil. India's energy requirements are on the rise and the Kingdom has been more than happy to oblige. India imports 18% of its crude oil requirements from Saudi Arabia alone. The Saudi Aramco, the United Arab Emirates, ADNOC, and the Indian public sector oil companies are jointly developing a $44 billion West Coast refinery in Raigarh, Maharashtra, which is the single largest greenfield refinery in India. And the Indian company Reliance has announced that Saudi Aramco, one of the most valued and profitable companies in the world, will take over about 20% share in Reliance oil and chemical business at a value of a jaw-dropping 75 billion US dollars. Now, Saudi Arabia is also looking to participate in India's strategic petroleum reserves as well. No conversation at this point of time about India and Saudi Arabia will be complete without mentioning the people-to-people -people connect and also more importantly the Indian diaspora. A whopping 2.6 million Indians live in Saudi Arabia which boasts of a very large Indian community which sends back uh, about $11 billion in terms of remittances. And the launching of the rupee card in the country will of course come as a relief to the larger diaspora. The goodwill of course is being reciprocated with the kingdom increasing its Hajj quota for Indian Muslims from about 17 lakhs to 20 lakhs per year. And also Vyond's Sidhan Sibyl is presently in Riyadh and is tracking all the developments very closely and he sent us this report. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi has arrived here in Riyadh and the main focus of his visit will be on how to strengthen ties, especially when it comes to people-to-people -people relationship on the energy sector and establishment of the Strategic Partnership Council. He will be meeting the King and the Crown Prince and late evening Indian Standard Time he will be addressing uh, the investment forum where he has been invited. His focus will be on how India is uh, a favorite investment destination for the entire 
entire world and now how uh, uh, people from Saudi Arabia should invest in uh, India. This is the second visit to Saudi Arabia and comes just months after the visit of the Saudi Crown Prince uh, to India. Uh, we know that when it comes to geopolitical realities, there has been increased uh, ties between uh, Riyadh, so much so uh, that uh, Riyadh is now looking more at New Delhi and less at its uh, erstwhile ally, Pakistan. With video journalist Neeraj Patel, Sidhan Sibal for Vion in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Key bilateral. Influential speeches, key launches. Prime Minister Modi is in Saudi Arabia. Focus on energy, security, trade and culture. Big lead for India's Link West policy. We own reports from Riyadh. All the news, insights and analysis. Prime Minister Modi in Saudi Arabia.